Good morning. You're listening to FloorDaily.net, and I'm Kemp Parr. I'm in Dalton at Mohawk's Light Lab, and I'm with Jackie Detmar, Vice President of Design and Product Development, and with Mike Gallman, Senior Vice President of Commercial Carpet. You guys doing all right? Hi, Kemp. Yeah, we're great today. I'm glad that you were able to join us here. Doing good. Thanks for coming. Well, I've been wanting to get down here for a little while because I know this place has been open for, what, six months or so? We're coming up on a year. We moved in last April. It's amazing what you've done to this place. Last time I was in here, it was a residential showroom that had, I think, curtains, and you couldn't really tell what you had here. So I want to talk about the description of this space since this is audio, but I also want to talk about the pilot lab that you have down in the basement, which is amazing. You said you hadn't named it yet, but it looks like it's the Gallman Candy Store down there. It's unbelievable. But let's get to that in just a second. First, though, before I do that, I want to talk about y'all's background. Jackie, you I think you first job after college was uh, to work at the Karistan plant, a woven wool plant where you designed products, uh, one of the best known brands in the business. And Mike, your history, you've been in this carpet business your whole life. Uh, you've been Shaw for a little while. You had your own plant, Blue Ridge, and now you're ahead of commercial business from a product design standpoint at Mohawk. So both of you, I, I, I love being with you because I think it's part of the character and part of your all's success, the experience the two of y'all bring to this business. Well, thank you very much. It's been a fun ride, and I think we're having more fun today than we've ever had. All right, well, this is an impressive space. When you walk in here, you have the big red M, obviously, at the entranceway. You've got this 360-degree view. It's probably one of the higher buildings in Dalton. And these mature trees are surrounding but not totally blocking the mountains. And it's just a gorgeous place to work, right? Yeah, we have beautiful views no matter which direction you're facing. And it's been wonderful to to work here during a whole season change. The spring is beautiful. The winter is beautiful. The fall was lovely when the trees were changing. And so every time of day and every direction you look, you get wonderful inspiration. The space up here is how many square feet is it? 33,000 square foot in the rotunda here. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about the history of this building. So this was built back in the 60s by the Shaheen family and was part of the World Floors acquisition that Mohawk got in 1998, I believe. The space was used for a lot of different things over the years and really was being underutilized as far as being the most beautiful site in Dalton and we didn't have people working up here so we really wanted to bring together our design teams in a beautiful location and get all of our teams together we were spread out all over North Georgia and having all of our different design teams planning together uh, has really led to a lot of innovation and cross-fertilization of ideas and information sharing that has just been a real pleasure to see happen. Now, I know your furniture in here is Technion, and it's that way for a reason because you are seeking a level of certification with this space, right? Right. We went down the path of the Living Building Certification with the International Living Futures Institute, and this was something that we really wanted to see what our customers were going through as they were looking at this type of certification. And it's really even more stringent than LEED certification, which most people are more familiar with. The Living Building Certification really looks beyond just points for power and water and that kind of thing. It looks at the beauty and the wellness of the space and thinks about the wellness and how people use the space. And so within the space, we had to use only red list free product for everything from the pipe dope for the sprinkler system to the NXT tabbed flooring on all the carpet tiles. So Technion was one of the few furniture manufacturers that made red list free furniture and we partnered with them for all the furniture in the space as well as built a lot of the furniture ourselves and the treatments using salvaged wood from our Dublin Georgia plant the creel stands behind the tufting machines. Well I wasn't surprised to see as I walked in the front door that you had moving floors which was the award-winning Neocon product design that you had for I guess two years in a row and I guess part of your plan is to continue to wow your customers and I think your plan is to bring both A and D and End users in here and allow them to show their plans to you and let you develop custom products and let this be a showroom to them but a living showroom because you actually have 110 people working here right right exactly and we have just the opportunity to be able to work with customers and show them how the product is utilized in a space close to what you know they would be looking at as far as corporate space we went from traditional workspace into this wonderful open workspace and we have great examples of how you do that in in a good way with providing lots of different 
ways for people to work. We don't expect anybody to be at their cubicle or their workstation all day. You've got center seating where we can sit. You've got lounge areas. You can go work outside in our garden area. There's lots of different ways that you can work standing, sitting, privacy, and, and in the open. And so um, it's a great example of how open workspace works, as well as being connected to our pilot plant, which Mike will talk about in a minute. But we can do real-time development with designers coming in to work on custom design, work on their project, and run it right down to the pilot plant and get real-time advancement on a project. All right, let's move to that pilot plant because I would just walk through it. It's very impressive. Mike, tell us what you have down there. I mean, it's virtually any type of equipment that can be used to make soft floor coverings down there, right? Yeah, we were spread out in four or five different locations. We had weaving pilot plants in our Eden and Landrum, South Carolina operations. We had pilot equipment at Virgil Drive, pilot equipment in Glasgow. So we consolidated all that into a space that's about 40,000 square feet. It's lighted very well. We've branded it with Mohawk. All of our equipment is, is branded with the Mohawk Red. And in that facility, you can do everything from 1E-type new scroll equipment to our Definity technology to Wilton or Karastan, Carelock looms. We have yarn fabrication, coder. We can bring our design team down, and basically they can play and create anything that we could do in production. So it allows us to prototype and allows them to use their skills and their talents to press the envelope within our toolbox. And it prevents us from making a lot of downstream mistakes. We can model this and prototype it this and tweak it relatively within hours of the idea and we can do that with our customers when they come here too it's been a great tool for us you were telling me that a customer end user or designer could come here and talk about a, an idea and while you're having lunch up here you could have people doing some knockoffs down there as far as what they were at, looking for right that's right we can we can meet in the morning lay out what the concept is for a project tour some of our facilities have lunch and then in the afternoon have finished samples for everyone to look at and review you have a coder down there. I mean, let's, let's remind people maybe have never been in a pilot plant facility. Could most people know that tufted or woven carpet is made in big 12-foot wide, but these pilot plants, it's a miniaturization of the type of equipment and yet fully capable. It was interesting to see the equipment down there is, is all red because I'm used to knowing who made it a piece of equipment based on the color of the frame, and you know, you've turned them all red. Now, you're able to have different stitch, different gauge. You can do almost anything down there, right? Yeah, we can replicate any production machine that we have within any of our facilities, both in tufted and woven in that pilot facility today. I got to mention outside you've got a sculpture garden and manicured landscaping so it's a nice peaceful place for your customers to come and work with your in-house designers to create whatever they were looking for right? It is and it's also a great place for our associates to work. It's a place where you really when you leave in the afternoon you almost hate leaving because it's like being in a park. All right great it's good to be with you guys again been talking to Jackie Detmar and Mike Gallman at Mohawk and you've been listening to Kempar and Floridaily.net.